Uh, when we're planning on fall protection for the project, there's two main things that go into that. One is knowing what work's gonna happen and how that work happens. Or you have to be able to understand uh, what the worker does, no matter if they are doing a hot applied roofing situation or if they're doing a large structural steel erection. And so you have to know how the worker does that work. All right. The other thing that you need to know is you need to know what's out there and available to help protect that worker. If you only know one of those, you can't understand how to do the work and how to implement it and how to advise that team on what they need to do and what's going to help them the best. I usually identify high risk activities and then at that time I work through the plan work with the team that's going to be doing it or at least the foreman and superintendent that's going to be performing that work. And I like to have them tell me the plan and then I also know how that work's going to go and then we identify certain areas where we can eliminate risk uh, and then we try to have a plan before we even get started to eliminate that. Uh, again, when you have a plan that you can work around and it lets the worker do their work without trying to figure out how to get around handrails and tie-off systems, something that's easy for the worker to use, uh, that's gonna be the safest way to do it. Um, we also go in uh, daily job walks. I try to sit back and watch the workers. Uh, not that I'm waiting for them to make a mistake, I just wanna see how they're working, how the flow is where the walkways are, where we're on leading edge work and when we're not on leading edge work, where we have a uh, risk of dropping something where we don't. Um, a lot of it's just keeping your pulse on the work that's going on. You know, and you can't do that in the office. You have to be out there in the field. And then the other part is research, education, um, talking to, the reps from the companies like DBI Sala and Guardian that are in Portland and you know people like Hilti, uh, engineered systems, things like that and seeing what's out there and constantly because there's new things happening every day that people are inventing. Also at Hoffman we try to uh, have meetings where we exchange information, what's working with us, uh, what are the results of it and then also we try to drill down into systems that we're already using on how to make those better. And so it's really, um, it's really a, a team that takes to do that. <laughs>